G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to allow external access on Skype for business on Office 365. I'm using a demo tenant here, so as you can see, it's just a demo tenant. It's not an actual live one. But this will allow you external access with um, both other organisations and also public, just general Skype users. This can open you up to a bit of spam, but if you need to con contact people that are just using regular Skype, not Skype for Business on Office 365 or locally hosted, well, it's good to enable it. So this is just the dashboard that you get when you log in. You need to go to the Admin Center. And in here, you'll have the Admin Centers and you want to go into the Skype for Business Admin Center. Now this is formally called Link. If any of you guys have experience with Link, this is the build up from there. Basically it's been built off there and they've just changed the name. It keeps telling me to install Office on my computer, but I don't care. So inside of here, you want to go to the Organization tab and you'll see you've got the Privacy Mode so you can automatically display your presence if you want to be able to be seen. And also, this is where we set for the external sharing. So if we want just normal Skype users to be able to see, we tick it. And you can hit save. There's also this external access. So if you want only people to only be able to use Skype for business internally inside of your organisation, you turn it off completely. If you want it on except for accept except for block domains, so you can block communication with other domains, or you can only have it allowed for allowed domains. So that would mean that you only want to be able to communicate with maybe your sister company or mother company or people that you know you want to be allowed to communicate with. So I'm going to leave it on except for block domains and allow communications with external users. And then the settings have been saved. Can take a few minutes to update on um, your users' ends, anywhere up to an hour. So that was how to allow external access and also access to public Skype using Skype for Business on Office 365. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more. And I'll talk to you soon.